Hi guys, <clears throat> it is a spectacularly gorgeous, I mean over the top beautiful, but a little bit chilly day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here in this undisclosed swamp out here in the middle of paradise on this beautiful, it is now Tuesday, January 5th, 2021. And I am Sam Mitchell, and this is Collapse Chronicles. And guys, I need to give you a just a, a little bit of a disclaimer. We are going to color out of the box here at Collapse Chronicles and talk about a subject that I have never mentioned before uh, on this channel, and that is UFOs. Uh, where, as I say, we're going to go a little bit out uh, on the limb here. You know, I don't know how many of you, uh, hush, how many of you heard my predictions uh, for 2021. And uh, I forgot to mention in that list a, a, a wild prediction that I was actually thinking of making uh, last last week and in the closing days of 2020, I noticed that the third, was it the third or fourth biggest story on the, on the planet was the latest example of the mainstream media talking about UFOs and by proxy, I guess, the space aliens that drive them treating the subject seriously. And I was going to make the, not exactly a, a prediction, but I will not rule it out that, you know, trying to second guess what the, what the nefarious they are going to come up with this year to distract us, you know, the, the ultimate distraction. If they didn't come up with it in 2020, you know, they, they've been talking for years, uh, ever since, I guess, the Orson Welles uh, April Fools. We got some serious planet eating going on outside the door here. Uh, I'm hoping this guy is, is leaving. This is the gray doll. From the county road department. So anyway, you know, going all the way back, I think it was to the 1940s when Orson Welles, he, he, you know, did this joke uh, April Fool's Day radio broadcast about, uh, you know, the UFOs invading, the Martians invading, and how uh, I absolutely love the sound of this planet eating. Uh, you know, talking about this obvious joke about this alien invasion and, and how uh, people went into immediate extreme fear mode and death anxiety. There were several suicides where people killed themselves before the Martians could kill them and their little darlings. Uh, I just absolutely, is, is this guy, I think they might want me to move my truck. I'm getting dirty looks, but they're not actually telling me to move yet. So anyway, the, this whole idea on, the, on this alien in, invasion thing has been alive uh, for, for years. Uh, and. I can't remember what is the name of this that this guy in, in Close Encounters of the remember that Steven Spielberg movie Close Encounters if you remember that French guy his name was Jacques he was based on a real person named Jacques Vallée V-A-L-L-E-E -E. I remember getting a long letter from Jacques and I can't remember <clears throat> the basic thesis of Jacques' 
uh, ideas, but one thing he talks about is, you know, the possibility that whoever the nefarious they is, uh, and he's been talking about this since the 1970s, that they're going, you know, to come up with an alien invasion to absolutely lock down the entire human race in fear mode. Uh, just get the entire human race freaked out that they're going to be killed by space aliens and that it is their uh, overlords in the New World Order or whatever uh, are, are, are going to save us from the space aliens. And I do not rule this out. And I was, when I, I, I actually made that prediction to a friend, somewhat joking that in 2021 we were going to see this. Uh, and that very day, uh, there it was uh, in the mainstream media last week. And now, here it is again. And there's several versions of this in, uh, in the mainstream media today. And this one is coming from military.com. Um, so this is what military.com has to say about the situation in this article uh, from Yahoo News. The Pentagon has six months to disclose what it knows about UFOs. So take it away. Uh, now, I'm going to have to mention, you know, guys, I have this New Year's resolution uh, about not talking about the C word. Uh, but when an article or someone I'm interviewing mentions it, and so what's fascinating about this is, 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 is this connection to the C word. And then but this article has nothing to do with the C word, but it, after the very opening sentence, but I find this fascinating, the dots connecting this. But anyway, take it away, military.com. As part of the newly passed COVID-19 relief legislation, this is part of the COVID-19 relief legislation, lawmakers are demanding answers from U.S. intelligence agencies and the Defense Department on the potential existence of UFOs and other unidentified aerial phenomena the $2.3 trillion omnibus appropriations legislation passed recently includes the Intelligence Authorization Act for fiscal 2021, which provides more resources towards investigating, gathering, and, quote, strengthening open source intelligence close quote, collection among the agencies, uh, according to a release from Florida Republican Senator Marco Rubio, who introduced the bill. Some of that information includes what the Pentagon, the FBI, and its counterparts know about, instead of UFOs, they're now UAPs, uh, unidentified aerial phenomena, also known as anomalous aerial vehicles. Lawmakers expect to see a report on the collected UFO data 180 days from the bill's passage, according to the legislation. So we are supposed to, in six months, have this latest report on uh, what is going on with the UFOs or the UAPs, whatever you want to call them now. And it, I am not ruling out the possibility. It is a remote possibility. It's mostly going to be with the UFO and space alien uh, wacko crowd. Uh, but it is not beyond the scope of possibility 
that this alien invasion is going to be cranked up this summer in about six months that we are now going to have an alien invasion of extraterrestrials, you know, some independent, this is going to be released right around Independence Day, would not surprise me if they release the report on Independence Day to get an entire planet, an already uh, planet of panicked sheeple, uh, even more uh, living in a constant state of fear that now uh, the, the reptilians are coming to get us. Uh, and the scariest thing about this is I will not know whether to believe them or not. Uh, I, I will have to read the report and see if uh, I am on the fence about UFOs. Uh, I'm not going to go into my own past history with UFOs and space aliens. I've talked about that a lot on other places. I'm, uh, I, I have a long history of interest in this subject that I'm not going to turn this channel into, into a UFO space alien channel. But I honestly do not know you know, I'm completely on the fence, guys. I could go either way on this. Can't wait to read the report. <clears throat> so what uh, can we expect in this report? Uh, the report will, the, the, the report itself will be unclassified, but will include a classified supplement. Lawmakers are concerned that there is, quote, no unified comprehensive process within the federal government for collecting and analyzing intelligence on unidentified aerial phenomena despite the potential threat, close quote, which is why a sweeping report on all relevant information regarding UAPs is essential according to the text. We're going to turn the camera and look at the overflowing uh, garbage cans with their... They're doing something to the canoe ramp here. Uh, so we can watch some planet eating going on. Lawmakers want information on any UAPs that were found using geospatial intelligence, signals intelligence. You also might have noticed a story in the last uh, week or so talking about the latest unidentified radio signal they are picking up from another planet. This is also in the mainstream media news that there's the, uh, uh, the latest unidentified signal uh, emanating generally from some other planet. This is all, all part and parcel of the same thing. That's what they're talking about, signals intelligence, human intelligence, meaning what I think this stuff is is other countries, our own country, and other countries, you know, military, inventing that what they're seeing are, are not made from space aliens, but from other humans. And my guess is that's what it is. But they want to they answer that question. Or measurement and signature intelligence Regardless of which agency or service collected the data, the bill states, <clears throat> the UFOs do not have to be out of this world either. The legislation requires information on any technologies that China, Russia, Iran, North Korea, or other, you know, other humans may possess in this field including, quote, 
aerospace or other threats posed by the unidentified aerial phenomenon to national security and an assessment of whether this unidentified air phenomena activity may be attributed to one or more foreign adversaries. Uh, again, this is where my vote lies, where, where the vast majority of, of, of these UFO reports from this point forward, we have to assume they're, they're coming from our own planet. Uh, but of course, then uh, th this will give away, give us, it won't be a way to unite an entire planet into 24 hour fear mode, but it certainly will be a way to uh, raise nationalist fervor and uh, certainly uh, will, will initiate a whole new level of arms race. And you better damn well believe that the U.S. military is the leader of the pack in uh, the, the, these, quote, uh, UAPs that our own country is developing more of, the, more of these things than probably all the other ones they just mentioned combined. Uh, you better believe that. Uh, Okay, so what is some background on this legislation? Back in April, the Pentagon officially acknowledged three incidents reported by Navy fighter pilots after years of speculation that pilots were encountering alien spacecraft during training missions, and this is uh, you know, the New York Times treated this uh, very seriously. The New York Times, I believe Time Magazine, you, you know, this was just the first hint. And uh, what some in the UFO community call the Disclosure Project. Uh, whether the U.S. government is, it, they're going to slowly start disclosing uh, information on UFOs. The question is, is the disclosure project all, all a joke that it, that it is just going to be the latest fear mongering? But this was the first time that I noticed the mainstream media uh, you know, treating this subject seriously and not just laughing it off. Um, the Defense Department, that same, you know, back in April, published videos of the incidents, one taken in November of 2004 and the other two in January 2015, uh, which had been circulating in the public domain after unauthorized releases of the videos where they couldn't ignore them anymore. This is Pentagon spokeswoman Sue Guff, quote, after a thorough review, you know, of these videos, which are, they're all over YouTube. You can find these videos and decide for yourself. After a thorough review, the department, meaning the Pentagon, has determined that the authorized release of these unclassified videos does not reveal any sensitive capabilities or systems and does not impinge on any subsequent investigations of military airspace incursions by unidentified aerial phenomena. Um, the video confirmation came a few months after Navy pilots got the word out that there had been an increase of UFO sightings in recent years. As a result, the service issued new guidelines on how to document sightings or uh, encounters. And then they mentioned that the New York Times reported that pilots had sightings and in one instance is a near collision. Uh, again, you can find these videos on YouTube. <clears throat> 
uh, flying training missions off the East Coast between 2014 and 2015. And then last August, Deputy Defense Secretary David Norquist officially created the, Un the Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Task Force. This is a unit led by the Navy to hunt down any pertinent encounters service members may have had with aerial objects that pose a threat to national security. The U.S. government has looked into UFOs for years, most notably between 2007 and 2012, when the Pentagon began its Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, an effort championed by Senator Harry Reid. And there's very conflicting information whether that program has been disbanded or not. Uh, my guess, it, it sure as hell has not been disbanded. Uh, that program was meant to, quote, pursue research and investigation into unidentified aerial phenomenon, quote, the Defense Department said motivated by events such as the 2004 Tic Tac incident, which was documented in one of the Navy's release videos, and this is one you can find on YouTube. Just put in Tic Tac UFO. I don't know why they chose the Tic Tac, but anyway, in that incident, uh, pilots, Navy pilots from the aircraft carrier Nimitz operating off the San Diego coast reported seeing a large Tic Tac shaped object that appeared to be floating without the assistance of an engine or an exhaust plume and uh, anyway guys we can minimally expect to see you will see the subject of UFOs and space aliens and uh, all of this resurging in 2021 I am going to add this to my list of predictions minimally, you are going to start seeing the mainstream media uh, taking this subject supposedly more seriously. They're not just going to laugh it off uh, like, like they've been doing uh, for years. And whether they, you know, they're going to be, you know, they're going to be running this stuff in the mainstream media and seeing how much uh, fear it generates. Uh, and the more fear and panic uh, that it generates among, uh, you know, the sheeple, uh, the more and more of it you're going to hear as... Uh, just, 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 you know, the bigger story here, as more and more uh, from here on out, uh, after 2020, we are going to be kept in hush in 24-7 fear mode. Uh, we are just going to be locked in fear mode uh, by any way they can come up with uh, and you can take that to the bank but uh, you can tell by all the whining that I need to wrap up uh, this out of the box uh, Collapse Chronicles video because I think the little dog needs to go poop and we need to take a walk on this absolutely gorgeous day and get out there and enjoy it while we still can, and I highly advise you do the same before these space aliens come to get you. The space aliens are coming to get you. And I can only imagine what viruses the space aliens are going to be bringing with them. 
Bye, guys.